This is URI's tick guide, Tom Mather, reporting here from frigid Kingston, Rhode Island. You know, I get asked a lot, can deer ticks survive these polar vortex temperatures? Well, it seems like maybe they can because tick activity has been going up and down like a yo-yo for the past couple of months. Today, we're just gonna conduct a simple experiment. We've put some deer ticks in vials, put them in these humidified bags, and we're gonna actually put them under the snow. We're gonna come back and check on our ticks to see how they're doing. Well, the ticks have been out for 24 hours now. It's three degrees last night, about 15 right now. Let's dig them up and see what we got. Too alive. Let's see. Are they alive? Uh, they are. They are alive. Looks like we're going to have more tick encounters this spring than maybe we thought we would have. <laughs> <laughs> 